It's every athlete's worst nightmare. Oh, 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 Rose came down big on his left foot. See him holding on to his knee, holding on to his knee and down. Got a second goal. And here goes Adrian Peterson. Good ankle tackle. Checking the statistics here as Peterson is slow to get up. And in the first half, boy, that is a painful Peterson. Yeah, that doesn't look good with his left leg. Dwan Gomes just came flying in there. On the left foot, now whether it was an ankle or a knee, I do not know. Yeah. There's Coach uh, Collins out there, and all those teammates running. And this, with the injury we just talked oh, about, the 26 games he has missed with an assortment of injuries, and now holding a knee late in a game that is already decided for all intents and purposes. And I'm sure. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Dewan Gomes just hit, put his shoulder pad right through the left knee of Adrian Peterson, and you can see he's in agony. Same. Oh, you never want to see this. Fans just cheered loudly as Adrian Peterson was somehow able to get to his feet. A lower left leg injury as London Fletcher comes over a number of Redskin players appreciating. Oh, it's a brotherhood, and you feel absolutely poor for Adrian Peterson. All about one guy, one injury, changing everything. Yes, yeah, before he comes down, it's the plant right Ooh. there Ooh. on that left leg. There was some give. There was some give on that knee, and you could see it. Ooh. Looks like it went in, too. That's what I'm saying. To look at, if you can handle, you may want to plants away, but you can see the parts of the human body not made for this. You see Gomes just came flying in there. A torn ACL is a very painful knee injury that could threaten every athlete's career. Here are some stories of ACL tears from high school athletes. Um, I was guest playing in Vegas for a soccer team and I was running to get the ball and there was like a divot in the field and I stepped in the divot and my foot stopped and my knee kept going and I just heard like a tearing sound and I immediately collapsed. Well, it's week two, football, and we're playing Egan. I'm playing outside linebacker and my job is to hold the edge. Ball snapped, I take one step to the right, another step to the right, big 300 pound lineman comes up. I plant my foot, try to hold him off. He puts all his weight on me, right leg crumbles. Knee bends in, there goes the ACL. Painful for about a few seconds, but then uh, try to get up, couldn't get up, lay back down, wait for the trainer to come out. That was that. Yeah, so I tore it August 26th, and we were at practice at the uh, Central, the Central Middle School turf, and I was sort of on the uh, the edge of the field, on the sidelines, kind of, and I was dribbling the ball down and I was going to cross it in and um, one of my teammates came in to block the cross and she never actually physically hit me but just put her foot in the ball and my foot when they um, touched or made contact uh, when I planted to balance myself out I mean, just kind of gave out and then I tore it. Being the main structural ligament in the knee a torn ACL often takes nine months to recover from. To gain a better understanding, let's take a closer look at the anatomy of the knee joint. The knee joint is very complex and consists of four major ligaments, the ACL, MCL, LCL, and PCL. Ligaments are bodily tissue that connect bones to other bones. They are almost like really thick rubber bands. The job of the ACL is essentially to connect the femur to the tibia. The ACL is the main ligament in the knee and often undergoes the most stress. This ligament is often torn or ruptured in high impact sports such as football, soccer, downhill skiing, and basketball. Pictured here is an actual torn ACL. The leading way to treat a torn or ruptured ACL is ACL reconstruction surgery. The procedure takes about 45 minutes and involves using graft from a tendon from one's own elbow, hamstring, or patella. This is because your body is more able to accept one's own tissue. In other cases, a cadaver or donor tissue is used as the new ACL. 
The surgery may take only 45 minutes, but the path to a full recovery takes nine months. To gain a better understanding of the recovery process, I have certified athletic trainer Chris Tyne to sit down with me. Okay. The rec recovery process is typically two to three weeks after the ACL is when we like to have the surgery because typically the uh, infl inflammatory process takes that long to have subsides, swelling, pain, that type of thing. We do pre-surgical physical therapy as well so that our outcomes are much better. Then you have the surgery, then you have eight weeks on a, either a, on, on crutches or some type of immobilization device. And after eight to 12 weeks, then we start range of motion. But some studies have shown that earlier range of motion physical therapy is, is, has better outcomes. So there's a little bit of gap there as well. At six months, to, they're about getting back to the normal running routine. What's a lot of rehab in between. And at about nine months is when you're back to where you were before. Okay. Physical therapy exercises range from simply relearning to flex your own quadricep muscle at first to one-legged squats later down the road. This is a long and gruesome process that must be done diligently. One of the biggest concerns about ACL injuries is that females are about five times more likely to sustain a knee injury such as an ACL compared to males. This is because of a female's neuromuscular structure and naturally wider hips, which create increased torque on the knees and leading them to be more subject to injury. The scariest statistic of all is that ACL injuries are up 400% in young athletes over the last 10 years, according to a study conducted by NBC. So we are faced with a problem. What can athletes do to help prevent a devastating ACL injury from happening? I sat down with the head of Wyzetta Football Operations, Ryan Johnson, to address the issue. Well, the biggest thing when people ask me about ACL prevention is that we recommend training. And a lot of the people don't even train. And when we say train, we mean lift weights and strengthen the, the muscles and the joints around uh, the areas that, such as the ACLs. Um, so the first thing we do is we recommend to strength train. With that, once we are into a training setting, then we do recommend some warm-up exercises and some finishers that we call prehab exercises. Basically what you do for physical therapy after an injury, we try to do those on the front end to help prevent any tears. There are right. several ACL prevention programs out there. There's one in particular that the USA Soccer is using. There's another one that uh, USA Hockey is using. So it depends on who you talk to and, and depends on the sport as well. You know, a lot of it is plyometrics, core strengthening, balance, agility, coordination, things like that to basically prevent you from getting in a situation to where you would tear your ACL. Even after you've completed physical therapy and are cleared to return to sport, returning to the level an athlete was at before could be the hardest task of all. I believe that the biggest factor in returning from an ACL injury involving strength is actually the mental strength. Physically, they put people back together very well. We can rehab and train and get all of that. The biggest aspect coming back from an ACL tear is uh, mental toughness and being able to mentally prepare yourself and, and be ready to go again. Um, I do have a little bit of concern just because my right leg doesn't feel quite as strong as my other leg. Um, first time I get hit with that leg, it's gonna be it's gonna be something to something to feel. Hopefully, it uh, holds up. But definitely, it's in a little it's kind of in the back of my head. But as time goes on, I'll, I'll get more confident. Um, the mental aspect is uh, pretty hard. Um, I guess it's the recovery process um, is super slow, and you basically have to learn how to lift your leg and how to walk and run and jog. And so, I mean, it's it's a little. I guess it ruins your confidence a bit just because you're doing these things that you could do in your sleep. Um, and then I guess once it gets towards the end, it gets harder again just because you're so close to being back to normal, but there's still just that extra step you have to take, and it's just really hard to, I guess, get back to where you were before you tore it.